Hi guys, thank you for tuning into this video about creating a great home page or front page uh, for your website. Uh, my name is Chris, thank you for watching. So uh, just to specify, I want to talk a little about what a, a, a home page or front page is. And uh, it is, you know, the, the first page on your uh, website. The page that uh, is the landing page for, for, for when people uh, type, type in your domain name in, uh, in the uh, address line of uh, their browser. So this would be the, the page that people uh, land on. Also, you know, if if you link to your website in a, in a blog, in you know, on on YouTube, on Facebook, uh, this will be the page that people see when they are uh, are taken to to your website. Uh, so this is a very important page. This is the page that people look at and. Uh, in under you know a few seconds decide whether to to go deeper into a website or not um, so I want to talk about what is important to think about when creating this page and I want to give you some examples of uh, of uh, front pages so just to jump right in uh, uh, the first thing that I think is important is the brand text you know uh, branding your website, branding your business or your organization, telling people what you do and why you uh, do this, or you know uh, what makes you special uh, or different uh, in 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 the competition. Um, so sort of the mission mission statement of your company. Number two is images. Uh, choose some big beautiful images that are relevant for your your business that you know makes people feel welcome and and make people think about what you are doing um, you can also use video and uh, you know i see more and more using a, a a sort of welcome video on the front page and i really really love this because it's it just makes uh, the website come more alive and be more intimate and you know real life humans in <laughs> in these videos and it gives you a chance to use sound as well to to brand your website uh, which we 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 don't uh, use very often uh, in 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 this time uh, uh, of web design uh, so number 4 slideshow you know uh, use uh, more images to uh, for example convey different services or you can use it to uh, to post uh, events or or uh, you know blog posts or anything um, and and we see a lot of slideshows today too and and it's funny because you know I'm, I'm coming from a, a background as a flash designer I designed a lot of website with uh, you know music sound and a lot of animation and uh, we sort of I, I think we will see that some of some of these elements will ca be coming back more uh, in in the future but use uh, use slideshows uh, to convey more than one uh, message um, number five uh, spotlights or uh, entries to your uh, to your website uh, use use the the uh, the other part of the uh, the page that is not covered by the billboard or the featured section uh, uh, to to focus on different services or different aspects of your company that would be uh, interesting to uh, to people and tell them uh, a little about it and and make sure that people have an easy entrance to what you think might be interesting to them and here you have to think about you know uh, your users uh, goals and needs and figure out what it is exactly that they uh, they they want to look at at your website what is most important uh, html tags this is sort of the developer side of uh, of uh, creating a, a homepage, but it is very important that you use the right tags, that you uh, put the right uh, information uh, when doing SEO, uh, 
put the right information in, in the title tag, in the h1 tag, h2 tag, and the uh, paragraph tags, uh, so that you know you search engine optimize your front page uh, for the words that you want to be uh, be found on uh, or, or be be uh, be focusing on. Uh, so make sure that the 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 tags. Uh, uh, are working as it should in uh, in in thinking about uh, SEO. So next up, I just want to look at a few examples of uh, of front pages uh, and uh, talk about what is uh, what is good and what is uh, maybe not so good. So the first page here is uh, the local business school uh, called Hanningsholm, and um, right off the bat, you see the the front page here with. Uh, logos and menus and social links and so on and down here you sort of have the the what I call the billboard section or the featured section and they've used it to sort of portray uh, some uh, some students I guess um, they they really don't have any sort of uh, brand text uh, on the page other than uh, these uh, uh, abbreviations here that uh, uh, you know, uh, talk about the different uh, educations that you can uh, achieve on on uh, in this business school. So uh, so that sort of works as the brain text. I really like the colorful uh, uh, the use of colors. It it makes it you know playful and light and smiling faces. Uh, it's it's very inviting and and very you know sort of gives you an a playful innovative feel and right about the fold down here you can see there's more content on this website so you could scroll uh, scroll down and and check out more and down here is what I'm talking about before about you know focusing on different parts of the website that would be interesting to uh, different uh, uh, users I would love some more text on on this front page actually to to make up for for good uh, search engine optimi optimization, um, but other than that, I think it's uh, pretty nice. Next up, we have uh, Tego or uh, Via uh, Univers University College, and uh, this is the the local design uh, university uh, here in uh, uh, here in Hanning. And uh, as you see again, uh, a, a huge front page picture uh, here, um, giving a more design artsy feeling. But uh, they have their brand text down here, and I think you know this is very sparse. They could uh, elaborate a little more, uh, but it says uh, design, fashion, furniture, business, and. It, it really, you know, in in these uh, four words, sort of convey what they are doing. But um, I would like some more brand text, some some, you know, a, a, a short mission mission statement, uh, telling people what what makes this school special, what makes this school stand out from other uh, design schools in the country. And as you can see again, uh, here above the fold, uh, you see some more content and you want to uh, scroll down and, and check it out. Uh, there's a little more text here uh, on, on this page and generally a, a, a really nice page. The last example I want to show you is the local uh, art muse mu museum. Um, and uh, first off, you have the logo uh, heart. It's sort of an uh, abbreviation. Um, and you have the menu. Uh, nothing special about that. And they have the uh, the slideshow on the the website uh, telling about different. Uh, 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 Different things that you can see on the on the in, in the museum, sorry, um, and uh, it sort of works as a calendar for uh, events and so on. But a lot of you know big beautiful uh, images uh, is used here, and it it uh, creates some diversity and and action on the page and I think it's done really nicely uh, on this page and the design 
otherwise is very uh, very clean not so much text here either I would like uh, I would love to have some more text to to uh, improve the SEO but uh, well they have done something to to attract people uh, when doing these slideshows I would all always uh, recommend uh, using features such as you know pausing the slideshow when you uh, hover the mouse over it or making sure that you know there are arrows to uh, switch back and forth between the the different images people sometimes uh, uh, like to just pause on a on an image or a a a, a, a page uh, in the slideshow to just to read or just to 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 look at the the images so uh, so think about that and uh, think about you know there are still some people that don't like these kind of things you know it confuses them it it, it makes up for noise for for some people but i think it's it, it gives some uh, some life to to the page so uh, this was uh, some examples of uh, what i think is pretty nice uh, front pages and uh, as always, this all comes out of your branding, of your you know choose uh, selection of colors and uh, trying to figure out how you want to reach your uh, customers or your users and uh, figuring out you know what kind of feeling, what kind of. Uh, 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 messages are we going to convey with this and what kind of uh, tone of voice are we going to use in our text and so on so all these elements sort of come together in uh, in a front page like this uh, feel free to uh, send me an email if you have any uh, questions or comments or suggestions for new videos uh, also uh, feel free to ask me any questions in the comment section below uh, or connect with me on Facebook and Twitter uh, to stay updated on new videos uh, and of course subscribe to my channel here on YouTube. Uh, so don't be a stranger. See you later. Bye.